Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, please hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So getting right into it, we will be starting off with a pull-off base coat. So I am applying a very thin layer of the Savvy Land Latex Nail Tape. And then once it's completely dried, I will be applying a very thin layer of base coat on top of that and curing that for 30 seconds. Recently, I did go ahead and take off my press-on nail set that I made a couple videos back. And um, I decided to do a nail set on my hand, so that is what we are doing for today's video. So this is what your nail should look like once it's completely dried. Though you can see I kind of have a little bit of a white spot on my thumbnail, which means that that area is not completely dried. But I still end up base coating, uh, I mean putting like the base coat on top of that, just so I can get on with the nail set. So for today's nail tips, I will be using the 3XL No Secret Square Tips from Kyra's Nail Supply. I do have our link down below so you can purchase anything on our website. We currently do have a 50% off sale um, going on right now. And if you use a brand ambassador's code, it does save you an extra 20% on your purchases. So in total, you will be getting up to 70% off on all your orders. So very quickly, I'm just measuring out my nail sizes. I pretty much know them, but I'm just measuring them out. And then I will be using the base coat to apply them to my nails. So I did go ahead and put my lamp here in the view of the camera so that way you guys can kind of see how I cure my nails. Um, I don't have one of like those gooseneck nail lamps or anything like that so I do just go ahead and put my nail in the light and like flash cure for a little bit and then move on to the next nail. So now that we have all the nail tips nicely applied, I will be going in with another very thin layer of base coat, mainly where the nail tip of the natural nail meets, just to add a little bit more strength before we go ahead and trim them down and start doing the actual nail set. So for today's length, I wanted a length between like long and extra long, so I do have 7 magnets on my nail tip cutter and I'm trimming them all down to this exact same length. And then very quickly, I will be taking my hand file just to shape up the sidewalls to make sure everything is nice and straight before we go in with our acrylic application. So for today's acrylics, I will be using the color Prada. This is from Mo Acrylics. I will also be using Pure Ivory and the color Rain from Kairos Nail Supply. I do have all the links down below for Mo Acrylics and Kairos Nail Supply if you're interested in any of these products. So if you've seen by the thumbnail, we will be doing a Tri Ombre. Um, it's also, I saw this design on Instagram. I don't have the picture with me in the moment. I did just quickly see it and decided, okay, I'm gonna do this set. But it's like that um, like popsicle where it's like red, white, and blue. I am just kind of recreating the ombre to make my nails look like that, if that makes any sense. So here I'm just starting off with the product color and applying it at the tip area and kind of blending it down towards the cuticle area so that way when I go in with the next color, it does have a nice seamless blend. And then here I am going in with the color Pure Ivory. I was honestly struggling a little bit when doing this whole entire set because the white having to be in the middle was kind of like struggling for me because of having to ombre it with a darker color if that makes sense. Usually I start off with a lighter color at the tip and then move on with a darker color um, on the bottom but with this set you have to have the white in the middle so it was kind of hard doing this set but I ended up making it work and it still turned out cute in the end. 
So after applying the pure ivory color, I am just going back in with that product color a little bit just to add a little bit more of the ombre down with that white. And then now I am going in with the color rain and applying that towards my cuticle area and using the tip of my brush just to push it up into the cuticle area to avoid flowing, I mean overflowing. And then I am ombreing it with that white acrylic as well. You will see that I do go in with another bead of the pure ivory color just to kind of make it more of a seamless blend right there in the middle and then after that I do end up moving on to the next nails. So this is what that ombre is looking like. Like I said, it's just mainly to resemble that one popsicle that has these three colors in there. So I will go ahead and just mainly let you guys watch the rest of the application play out and I'll come back in once it's time to encapsulate these nails.
So now that we have all of the ombre done, I will be using our clear acrylic from Kyle's Nail Supply to encapsulate all of the nails. You want to make sure to encapsulate when doing any ombres or marbling with the acrylic. Otherwise, when you go in and file, it will just file all of that ombre or anything like that away. And it will just be a waste of time and you will have to go back in and redo everything. Not only that, I like to use clear acrylic to build up the structure and the thickness of the nail. But since this is a practice set, I don't really do that on my practice sets, but doing it on myself to keep like a nail set on for a long time or doing it on anyone that I'm doing nails on, I do build up the thickness like I need to be doing. So I will go ahead and just let you guys watch me encapsulate the rest of the nails and then I will come back in once it's time to shape and file up our nails. So this is what the application is looking like once everything is completely dried. So to get into our filing, I am just taking this fine file one taper drill bit and going around the cuticle area just to make sure everything is nice and flush. And for reference, I do have my drill at the speed of 9000 RPMs when doing any finished filing using my e-file. Next, I will be going in with a fine grit sanding band and going around the cuticle area just once more and then I will be working that over the entire surface of the nail to smooth that out from the acrylic application. Taking that hand file, I will be going in and shaping up the sidewalls to make sure everything is nice and straight and then I do um, file the free edge off camera because it's kind of hard to stay in frame when doing that. And then lastly, I'm just taking this mini buffer and buffing over the surface of the nail to smooth it out. I'm not doing any type of nail art or anything like that on these nails. I am just filing, I mean, I'm just buffing them and then I will be getting into cleaning them off here with my brush and some alcohol. So 
that this is what the nail set is looking like once everything is completed. So I will be top coating. I am just using the classic diamond gel top coat from Kyle's Nail Supply. Like I mentioned, I wasn't adding any type of design or anything like this to this nail set just because honestly I didn't know exactly what to add it to this design. So I just decided to end it there and just top coat and then get into the end of the video. So once I'm done applying the top coat to all the nails, I will go ahead and wipe down the sidewalls just to make sure I keep the nice square shape and then I do cure for a full 60 seconds in the nail lamp. And then to finish off the nail set, I will be applying our peach tinted cuticle oil to my cuticle area and just gently rubbing that in. If you guys have not purchased our cuticle oil, I highly recommend it. It smells so good and everybody loves it. I get so much amazing feedback for this cuticle oil. But that is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!